Okay, let's draw the Lewis structure of HCN, cyanic acid. So carbon is happy at 4, nitrogen is happy at 5, hydrogen is happy at 1. So 4 plus 5 is 9, 9 plus 1 is 10. So our goal here is to get 10 valence electrons around this molecule. So let's make carbon our central atom because carbon, no matter what, loves 4. So we'll put one bond to the hydrogen we have no other choice than to make a triple bond with the nitrogen. I mean, there's no way hydrogen can accommodate a double bond, let alone a triple bond. Uh, but the carbon bound with uh, a nitrogen can accommodate a triple bond. There are no charges here, so we should make sure there are no formal charges here So in our Lewis structure. So let's look at the formal charge and then the octet rule of our center carbon atom. So let's do formal charge first. So one, two, one, two, three, four, carbon happy at four, four minus four is zero. Let's look at the octet rule for carbon, realizing we can have an expanded octet. That's totally okay. So the octet rule for carbon, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here we count everything individually. So the octet rule is good. Uh, by the way, we have 10 valence electrons here, so I think I'm missing a pair of electrons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, where do nine and 10 go? Um, so now I have the correct structure. Nine and 10 go on the nitrogen. All right, that nine and 10 electron cannot go on the carbon because carbon is already maxed out at the four. And we just calculated it having the nice octet, and we just calculated it having a zero formal charge. So electron nine and electron 10 have to go on the nitrogen in order for us to get the 10 valence electrons of HCN. So, and um, let's do the formal charge and octet for nitrogen. It's formal charge. Here we're going to count these bonds as one for the formal charge. Happy minus the number of electrons around the atom. Uh, this gets counted as one. One, two, three, four, five. Nitrogen happy at five. There's five around it. So this has a zero formal charge for the nitrogen, which is great. The octet rule for this nitrogen, here we count everything individually. This is shared in this triple bond. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, even better, the octet rule is satisfied for the nitrogen. Uh, hydrogen here, it's kind of the weird one. Uh, hydrogen, formal charge, hydrogen is happy at one. So one, one minus one is zero, zero formal charge. And uh, octet rule for hydrogen is two. Okay, so one, two, this satisfies the octet rule. So let's do the geometry here for cyanic acid, looking at our central carbon. Here we have two bonds. One happens to be single bond. The other happens to be a triple bond. Okay, so two bonds and zero lone pairs. Okay, this is a sort of confusion, but uh, two bonds on the central carbon. One just happens to be triple. The other happens to be single. So two bonds, zero lone pair. Two bonds, zero lone pair. Uh, we're going to use the table where the central atom has no lone pair. So whatever textbook version you have, two bonds, zero lone pairs is actually linear. Okay, just like CO2 in the video before, carbon dioxide. So this molecule is linear. Okay, you can actually see the linear molecule here. Here's your hydrogen, here's your carbon, here's your nitrogen. There'd be a lone pair sticking out here, a lone pair of electrons. Actually see there's your lone pair, nothing is bound to it. And you can see it's a straight molecule bond angle, 180 degrees, perfectly planar. So there's nothing really 3D about a line. Um, Hybridization, how will we get to two bonds? One single, one triple. Okay, we're going to take one from S and one from P. So this is an SP hybridized carbon. The molecular geometry is linear. Finally, this is a polar molecule. So hydrogen does not pull. Carbon really doesn't pull, but uh, the nitrogen, yes, the nitrogen has some pulling power. We also got that lone pair sticking out here, so we got that lone pair. So um, we do have an end of a molecule that's partial negative. We do have another end of the molecule, the carbon side that's partial positive. So this is a polar molecule.